Now this is one of the best, strongest archer builds in Dragon's Dogma 2. The archer is a fun and powerful ranged location that can easily exploit the enemy's weak points. The archer excels in sniping enemies from range and applying status effects like burning or poison to enemies. The archer can repeatedly strike an enemy's weak point to swiftly take down any bosses. In this guide, I'll cover the best skills, setups, and gear upgrades to easily handle any situation. So let's check this out. Okay, so first I'm going to show you destroying this dragon. Now the archer is one of the starter vocations that has some of the best augments. In the early levels, the archer is very strong due to its range and the ability to apply debilitations. Now the archer is a very strong vocation, but you have to hit the enemy's weak points to do massive damage. And because you're range and you can aim down with the bow, it should be easy to hit the enemy's weak points. Now ideally you want to be in the back line with the archer, but the archer does have a kick skill that you can use if you're in melee range. And you can do some cool combos with your kick skill. Now, now the archer has an auto shot called loose which will auto aim at enemies that are close and the auto shot is really good for taking on flying enemies or any trash enemies when near the archer can also aim with his bow called steady shot to pinpoint on where you want the arrows to go now majority of the time you want to use steady shot because you'll be in the back line and it does more damage compared to the auto shot now some of the archer's weapon skills requires you to have special arrows that apply status effects and these arrows can be crafted or you can just easily buy them from the weapon vendors now the archer does suffer when surrounded by enemies that are close but with your kick skill you can jump kick or you can dash an auto shot which will make you slide and gain distance from your enemies and ideally you want your pawns to draw aggro so you're not getting attacked and you can unleash damage from range and you also want a pawn that can either do elemental damage or give you an elemental effect like the mage in order to synergize with your weapon skills and the archer does have a special bow called the medusin spell bow that will greatly increase the experience gain when defeating enemies and with the bow you're able to use an extremely rare arrow called unmaking arrow that will instantly kill groups of enemies or bosses but i'll go over everything in more details in their dedicated sections Okay, so next for the weapon skills. Now I spent hours testing every weapon skills for the archer, and some of the archer's weapon skills were underwhelming. The archer has some really strong weapon skills, but some skills do require special arrows in order to use them. And I'll go over some alternate weapon skills that are strong, and you can switch around your skills depending on your playstyle. So the first weapon skill I'm using is Tempest Shot, and this skill will allow you to quickly shoot arrows continuously until you run out of stamina or after some time. Now when using the skill, you will be stationary. So ideally you wanna use this skill when when enemies are not targeting you. Now I mostly use this skill on bosses that are knocked down or if the bosses are frozen. So you can easily fire multiple arrows at the boss's weak points which will shred their health. And be aware that this skill will quickly drain your stamina if you keep firing your arrows with this skill. And the next weapon skill I'm using is Erupting Shot. And in order to use this skill it requires a special arrow called Explosive Arrow. Now this skill will put an explosive charge on your arrow that will explode if attacked or after some time. And this skill does tons of fire damage and this skill is really strong against enemies that are weak to fire. Now since this skill requires you to use special arrows, I mainly just use this skill on bosses that are weak to fire. And the next weapon skill I'm using is Deluging Shot. And this skill requires a special arrow called Drenching Arrow. Now this skill will apply the debilitation drenched to enemies that will basically soak the enemies in water. Now this skill is very powerful when combined with some elemental attacks like ice or lightning. Now personally I like to pair this skill with ice attacks so the enemies can instantly freeze. So you would want a mage to do elemental damage or give you an elemental effect and i use this skill all the time on bosses so i can easily freeze them and you can also freeze golems and when the bosses are frozen it's really easy to hit the boss's weak points and shred their health and the last weapon skill i'm using is deathly arrow and this skill will shoot a powerful arrow that can knock down enemies now this skill does require you to charge the skill in order to use it so make sure you're not getting attacked while using this skill and there is a timing element for this skill to make it more powerful you need to release the arrow the instant the bow is fully drawn and this skill does tons of damage and you can easily knock down bosses with this skill. Okay, so now for some strong alternate weapon skills. So a strong alternate weapon skill is the Archer's Meister skill, Heavenly Shot. And this skill will drain all your stamina for one powerful shot. And the more stamina it drains, the stronger the attack becomes. This is a very powerful skill that requires charging up and delivers a devastating blow to enemies. Now, since this skill drains all your stamina, it's best to use this skill on bosses as a finisher. Now, personally, I don't like using this Meister skill because if you're using other 
other weapon skills, it will drain your stamina, making this Meister skill weaker. And you have to hit the boss's weak points in order to do tons of damage. If you miss the weak point with this Meister skill, it won't do a lot of damage and you just wasted all your stamina. Now this Meister skill might be better on keyboard and mouse since it's easier to aim, but personally I use a controller. Now another strong alternate weapon skill is Spiral Arrow, and this skill will fire a spinning arrow that delivers a barrage of hits. Now this skill is really strong when combined with an elemental effect, so you'll need a mage that gives you an elemental effect to make this skill really powerful. The elemental effect will be considered with the barrage of hits, making this skill really strong. Unfortunately, you're only limited to 4 weapon skills, so I personally like to take the other weapon skills more. Another alternate weapon skill you can use is Noctuous Shot, and this skill will apply the debilitation blighted to enemies, basically poison. And if you apply this skill twice to an enemy, they will be affected with Fulamin Poison, which is a lot stronger poison doing massive damage. Now this skill requires a special arrow called Blighting Arrow that can be crafted or bought from the weapon vendors, but these special arrows are a lot more scarce compared to the other special arrows. And another strong alternate weapon skill is Incendiary Shot, and this will apply the Debilitation Tar to enemies, which is basically covering them in oil. But this weapon skill does require a special arrow called Tarring Arrow, and this skill is really strong when combined with Erupting Shot. Your Erupting Shot will do more damage and will also catch the enemies on fire. But again, since we are limited to 4 weapon skills, I personally like the other weapon skills I chose. But you can switch around your weapon skills depending on your playstyle. Okay, so next for the core skills. Now, some of the core skills are situational and will be more useful when you're ambushed. Ideally, you want to stay in the back line to avoid being targeted and attacked. So the first core skill is Leaping Punt, and this skill will allow you to jump kick off an enemy that can knock foes off balance. This is a really good skill if you're trying to gain distance from an enemy. The next core skill is Parting Shot, and this will allow you to fire an arrow while jumping off an enemy. Now, I use this skill all the time whenever I jump off an enemy, and it does pretty decent damage. And this skill is really stylish but most of the time you will be in the back line so you shouldn't be jumping off enemies often and the next core skill is swift knock and this will speed up reloading your arrows allowing you to fire more shots rapidly and the last core skill is puncture dart and this will increase your damage when you draw your arrow to its limit while using steady shot Okay, so next for the augments. Now for the augments, I did focus more on damage and stamina management compared to defense and survivability. I have all the best gear and will be mostly in the back line, so I didn't need more defense. But in the early levels, it might be more beneficial to prioritize defense and survivability augments to avoid quick deaths when surrounded by enemies. So the first augment I'm using is lethality from the archer, and this will increase the damage dealt when striking a target's vitals. This augment is really good for destroying bosses. The next augment I'm using is diligence from the fighter, and this will hasten the recovery when downed or crawling. This augment will help you recover faster when you get staggered. The next augment I'm using is Exaltation from the Mage, and this augment will increase your stamina recovery speed, which is very useful in any situation. And the next augment I'm using is Subtlety from the Thief, and this will decrease the likelihood of being targeted from enemies, which is really important for not getting attacked and staggered. And the next augment I'm using is Verb from the Thief, and this will increase your strength for more damage. And the last augment I'm using is Zeal from the Warfar and this augment will reduce the stamina consumed when using a weapon skill, which is really good for stamina management. Okay, so next for the equipment. Now, the strongest weapon for the archer is sold from the weapon vendors in the post game or in new game plus, and the best armor pieces is traded from the dragon forge. Now, I believe this is an error for the weapon because with all the other vocations, the best weapons are from the dragon forge. And in order to trade items from the dragon forge, you will need worms life crystals, and worms life crystals are obtained by defeating dragons. So for the weapon, I'm using the Hydra Husk, and this is the strongest bow in the game, sold from the weapon vendors in the post game or in new game plus. Plus. For the head armor, I'm using the Cavalier Hat, which is the best helmet for the archer. And I'm also using the Prowler Kerchief, making you more difficult to detect from enemies. And for the body armor, I'm using the Heroic Coat. And for the leg armor, I'm using the Eagle Eye Quistus. Now next for the cloak, I'm using the Champion's Mantle. And this is just purely for style. Ideally, you don't want to wear a cloak because it does increase your weight, which can make you run slower. But since I'm in New Game Plus and have all my equipment enhanced, weight is not an issue for me. And next for the rings. Now the first ring I'm using is the Ring of quickening and this will increase your stamina recovery speed and this is really useful because i am using tempest shot which drains a ton of stamina and i like to run and reposition a lot to aim at the enemy's weak points so this ring will help you recover stamina a lot quicker and the next ring i'm using is the ring of aggression and this ring will increase your strength for more damage i also want to mention the weapon medusin spell bow and this bow is attained by defeating medusa this bow is really good for farming experience it will give you four times the experience gained from enemies but in return it does drain a lot 
lot of stamina and this spell also weighs a ton so your running speed might be affected but gaining four times the experience is more beneficial compared to the downsides and the archer is able to also use a special arrow called unmaking arrow which will instantly kill groups of enemies or bosses now the unmaking arrow is extremely rare and can only be attained from the sphinx by solving her riddles or you can get one from the dragon forge traded for worms like crystals Okay, so next, where to upgrade your gear? So for the weapon, I did upgrade my weapon in Back Batal because the Batali enhancement will give a large increase to your strength at the cost of reduced magic and slightly higher weight. So ideally, this is the best option for upgrading your weapon because with the Archer, you will mostly do physical damage. And for the armor, I upgraded all my armor in Verm because the Verm enhancement will increase all your stats and slightly decrease your weight. And having lower weight will allow you to run faster, making it easier to dodge enemies' attacks and reposition faster after okay so next if you wanted to check out my stats now i am level 68 and have all the best gear the archer does have some powerful skills that can easily take down enemies and bosses however the archer can be vulnerable in situations when surrounded by enemies but that's where you rely on your pawns to draw aggro so ideally you want a fighter in your party additionally the kick skill adds style to your attacks and is effective at close range especially when comboing your attacks and it can help you create distance from enemies nonetheless maintaining a position in the back line is preferable so your pawns can draw aggro and you also want a mage in your party because the mage can do elemental attacks or give you an elemental effect which combos really good with your weapon skill deluging shot and next i'm going to show you some gameplay destroying this dragon Okay, so thanks for checking out one of the best, strongest archer builds in Dragon's Dogma 2. The archer is a very fun and powerful vocation that can easily snipe enemies from range and apply status effects. The archer excels in exploiting the enemy's weak points, making quick work to effortlessly destroy bosses. I've shared the best skills, setups, and gear upgrades for this build, and you can switch up your weapon skills depending on your playstyle. Hope this helps and more videos to come, so stay tuned. And don't forget to give your pawns a high five.